The early Christians remembered Jesus' words and deeds in strings of oral traditions, traditional texts which they learned by heart. And now another element emerged. Jesus' teachings began to be reshaped, to become, as it were, part of a more systematic instruction plan. We call this the oral catechesis in the early church. By shaping the oral catechesis, the communities reinterpreted and applied Jesus' teaching in creative new ways. One problem Matthew's community came across was that some Christians committed crimes and might even end up in prison. What to do about them? Should they be given up? The community to which Matthew belonged came to a clear answer which they based on Jesus' teaching concerning little ones. They brought together various sayings of Jesus, like his wanting children to come to him. And his warning, it's better to die with a millstone round your neck than to give scandal to little ones. It is here they put the parable of the lost sheep and they drew the conclusion from it that we should never abandon small people. People who are in need and on the fringes of society. That is why they rephrased the parable as in the Gospel of Matthew. It now ends like this. In the same way, your Father in heaven does not want any of these little ones to be lost. Matthew's community gave the text a new meaning, not by inventing something entirely new, but by drawing a conclusion from what Jesus had said. They applied the texts creatively to their own situation.